Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Well, I am not Laura. I'm actually going to be doing this part for, for us, but thank you, Julia, um, for that handover. And so we made it here towards, towards the end. So again, buenas tardes. My name is Martin Zelaya, and I'm the Chief for the Office of Assessment and Evaluation at uh, the um, Arizona Department of Health and Ser uh, Health Services. And so I wanted to thank uh, thank you all to our wonderful speakers and guests that shared their knowledge with us over both days of the 2021 Maternal and Infant Mortality Summit. Next slide. While this summit gave us much to think about, our intent with the design of this summit was to make sure we were spending time discussing the most prominent and pressing risk impacting maternal and infant mortality in our state. That is why it was so important for us to spend so much time unpacking each of the findings from the perinatal period to risk analysis and maternal and infant mortality data that were presented yesterday. If there were any takeaways from me during this summit, they are that access to prenatal care is absolutely critical to improving maternal and infant health in Arizona, and that it is going to take every one of us to make sure women have the ability to and feel confident in seeking early prenatal care upon pregnancy. We also learned about the importance of optimizing women's health before, during, and between pregnancies as best as we can and that optimizing chronic or under conditions will truly help us move the needle on reducing preterm and low birth weight births, among other things. The Safe Sleep panel this morning was also a very strong reminder that we also need to be focusing on the time after birth to make sure that families are prepared and equipped to keep their infants safe at home. Lastly, I want to thank our panelists yesterday during the Social Determinants of Health session and the presenters that we just heard from our community partners for grounding us on the importance of meeting families where they're at and doing anything we can to create environments where women and infants can thrive in their communities, regardless of their backgrounds or access to resources. The only way we can achieve health equity for Arizonans is by coming together to create those environments. We hope that by sharing all of this information with you, the wheels are turning in your heads about where and how you can adjust the work that you do to support Arizona communities that are experiencing worse maternal and infant health outcomes. Next slide, please. So some of the next steps um, for us here at ADHS, we're not done with just this summit. Um, again, I certainly want to express our thanks to each of our speakers again and audience members that shared your thoughts and questions with us for helping us to think about how we will continue to address maternal and infant health outcomes moving forward. Many of you are already aware that we are currently working towards achieving the Arizona Maternal Mortality Action Plan for 2020-2025. We have several goals in this action plan, including increasing pregnant and postpartum women's awareness of postpartum warning signs, improving access to care, supporting workforce and workforce capacity, improving surveillance and data reporting of maternal deaths and severe maternal morbidity, and supporting systems of care. We're also committed to developing an Arizona Infant Mortality Action Plan along with our Maternal Mortality Action Plan that will outline statewide goals and objectives for reducing infant mortality in Arizona. Key stakeholders and partners who can help move the needle to impress these outcomes, improve these outcomes, and what resources are currently available and resources that might not be available yet, but are needed to make uh, improve these outcomes. Uh, they will include recommendations for improving infant mortality and a time for implementation. However, in all of this, it's important to know that through this development, we will ensure that there is alignment with the existing maternal mortality action plan as the data from the prenatal periods of risk approach analysis clearly uh, showed as a pathway for preventing future infant mortality by improving the health status of women in Arizona. As you can tell, there's a lot more to come regarding addressing maternal and infant mortality in Arizona, but thank you for engaging in this work with us. Next slide. Now, um, there was quite a lot of information that was shared on these past two days, tons of data, tons of useful info. So I just wanna give everybody a reminder to please visit our Bureau of Women and Children's Health website for the most recent information on our reports, our programs, and any updated data that might help be, be helpful for you in your work. The summit website on HOVA also has tons of resources available in the document section of the site. There are also session specific resources available if you click on a specific session in the agenda. Next slide, please. One last time, I want to thank you all of our tech external partners 
and ADHS staff who served on the planning committee for this event. Special thank you to Dave Ryder and our technical team. You all have been excellent to work with and we appreciate it all it took to have a smooth event. Um, and if we were in person, I would give you a clap. So I'll give you a clap from my side. Um, we also want to thank all of you for your active participation in the summit. And the best way for you to let us know about your experience is to fill out our summit evaluation form that Dave Ryder will distribute after the session. We appreciate it all of you took the time to fill out this evaluation. It will take about 10 minutes at most to complete. But if you're seeking contact hours for this event, it's important to know that you must fill out the form in order to receive a certificate of participation. Please let Dave know if you have any questions about this. And here, my final slide here. While our targeted presentations for this summit might be over, I'm also very excited for the training coming up this afternoon from the March of Dimes. The training is called Moving Beyond Labels to Deliver the Best Care for Pregnant People, Newborns, and Their Families. This training will be addressing how we can address stigma related to maternal mental health and substance use in our program specifically. These are topics that are so important and prevalent in Arizona right now, but we didn't get a chance to really address them in a targeted fashion in other areas of the summit. That is why we're so excited to hear from them next. The training will start promptly at 1245, so we hope you have a wonderful lunch break. And as a reminder, this is happening through a different Zoom link that is available in the HOBA platform. Um, but this was sent to you last night and we will send it to you again over lunch. Thank you again for joining us for the 2021 Maternal and Infant Mortality Summit from all of us here at Arizona Department of Health Services. Um, have a wonderful afternoon, muchísimas gracias, and we will continue to keep in touch. Thank you, everybody.